what is my alveolar tidal volume? And if we do that math, we will see where we're going to do 350, that's our tidal volume, minus our dead space, which is 1 ml per pound of ideal body weight. We're 130 pounds. So 350 minus 130, that's our dead space. So 350 minus 130 is what? 220, 220 milliliters. Now, what about patient over here? 230 is our tidal volume minus our dead space, 130 milliliters based off of our ideal body weight. We see where this patient's alveolar tidal volume is 100 milliliters. As now we see a difference here now, right? We see, us okay, but this patient always had a larger tidal volume. This patient still has a larger alveolar tidal volume. Watch what's about to happen. This is so fun, uh, at least it is to me. If we do the math here and we calculate our alveolar minute volume, minute volume, alveolar, 220 times 17, we get 3,740. That's 3.74 liters. Watch this. 100 times 26 equals 2,600. Now remember, our minute ventilations, they were the same. This patient actually was slightly higher, but now it's 2,600 mLs, which is 2.6 liters. Who's gonna get rid of more CO2? Who's more effectively ventilating this patient?